Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, back to Nino, Nino Kuni, Revelin Kingdom, Kingdom 2. 2. Oh, oh, yeah. Where we left off. Well, we was trying to complete a lot of things for this guy over here to unlock characters, you know? Welcome to Swift Solutions. I don't know if he has any more. He doesn't have any more people, so oh, we could put it in a pause at the moment. What we're going to be doing is, well... We did all these, no lie. We can't bring a hookily friends with a mermaid, okay? We need boots, okay? Talk to Yip Yip in Gopal. Okay, it looks like we're gonna go gather people. That's what we're gonna be doing. Let's go to Gopal. And then gather up all the ones that we need to. And hopefully we don't do the main quest while we do. Those of y'all that don't know, I like to complete the game as much as I can. So I try to avoid doing the main mission to complete everything else first. That's the main quest over there, but we over here doing some other stuff at the moment. Let me grab this. Hello, my girl. Hello. Hey, it's good to see you, Evan. Thank you for taking such good care of Peachy. Actually, I have been thinking I would like to move to your kingdom as well. I intend to work to earn my keep, of course. I hear that people from all over the world are flocking there. And they are sure to have brought all sort of exciting clothes that and threads with them. <laughs> yes. I would dearly love the chance to work with such elegant materials. And besides, a good kingdom needs a good seamstress. Pai Chi is sure to enjoy the company too. I will not let you down, I promise. No worry, welcome aboard. Oh, I simply cannot wait. Will there be a seamstress there from the another land from whom I might learn new techniques and methods, I wonder? Oh, yes. <laughs> we will soon see. I look forward to seeing you there, King Evan. No worries, enjoy. Alright, next up. Hytropolis, four leaf, four leaf, four leaf. Damn. Four leaf, four leaf. He's here. We could go talk to him. So many four leaf, though. Damn. Where's this guy at? Up here? Let's go talk to him and see what's up. Any minute now. Wait. Mm, you crushed the filthy robbers. Our kingdom is safe once more. Right. Does madness with the menace to our safety and our trade? We owe you a great deal, Yi Ping. I do not deserve your thanks. I will surely have perished without the support of my royal friends from the Heartlands. Thank you very much. Life has returned to normal for the people of Gopa, and it's all thanks to you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And now that the innocent and valuable of my own realms are safe once more, I will ask leave to help those of your kingdom. Will you permit me to join you there? Mm. Really? Of course. We'd love to have you. Thanks, Yappy. Nice! Jelly Rally and Blade! I'll join you along with the Golden Rules unit. Okay, cool. Wait, I feel like he's one of these. Level 17, but you know, he's put the god, you know? Hmm. You know, let's get him in our group. I know it will lower it down a little bit, but at least it's still someone new. Alright, let's see here. 
I think we got everyone from Gopal. So let's go to Borleaf because it looks like a lot. Oh, wait, no. There's one more person in Hytropolis. Let's go gather him up, then go to Borleaf. Because it seems like a lot of people is in Borleaf. Like a shit ton. I heard the news, King Evan. You have succeeded in making your kingdom into a mighty military parlor. You are a true leader of... <coughs> Hang on. I need water. Much better. I have feared that the ladies of Hydropolis will place enormous mountably obstacles in the way of my leaving. But surely even they cannot object me to joining kingdom now. Thank you, King Evan. So does this mean... Yes, your majesty, you are now my master, and I shall swing my famous hammer in the service of you and your kingdom. How lovely and a little bit kinky. Yes. It will be an honor to serve such a wise and beloved ruler. I shall endeavor to give my, all my best to it at all times. Ugh, oh, my tongue got twisted though. Let's see him as well. He's not... Oh, there he is. He's hammer user. Level 18. No, well, why not? Alright, now we have to go into Boar Leaf because we got so many quests over there. Like, we have a lot, a lot. Alright. And it looks like we have some side missions in here, too. We could try gathering them all while we're here. Might as well. Oh, hey, the, the taskmaster told me all about you. Rumor has it you looking too high on the executive producer for all star shows. That can't be right, can he? He only kidding. You want me to move to your kingdom, right? I'll be happy to. But seriously, it's good to hear that you have a theater. We don't have one in Boy Leave. It's a wasteland, let me tell you. Anyway, it's always been my dream to produce a big show at some fancy venue. And now it sounds like I might even get my chance. Thank you so much. Ah, you're one of the people. Cool. Welcome aboard. Now, the only question is what kind of show to put on, huh? Opera musical. If you have any requests, just say the word. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. There's two people over here, it seems. All these peppers, man. <laughs> Hello! Who is the lucky contestant that wants to join me? You all. Why the long face, Chill. Ah. Uh, oh, hey, Bracken, I didn't see you there. Um, things aren't so good with me right now. I'm getting literally zero work done. Oh. oh, dear, that sounds terrible. What kind of work do you do? I'm in the design department. It's my job to, like, bring zip crazy ideas to life. Uh-huh. She was one of the finest minds in the whole company ever. When you seen the monolith right there, that was all him, chick. Oh. Really? You designed that wonderful device all on your own. That's credible. <laughs> hey, why don't you come and join us in King Evan's kingdom, day of chill? Maybe a change of scene will help you dream up some new ideas, yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, that's a cool dog bracket, but actually ideas are my problem now. I lost a monolith, a super important one. Again, are you serious? Uh -huh. Yeah, but listen, there's stuff on there that's really embarrassing for me. Like, really embarrassing. Hmm. Well, do you have any ideas where you might have lost it? 
I guess you could have gotten mixed up with another monolith I was using to deliver some data. I gave it to Willie over in the labs. And have you tried asking him about it? No way, man. I mean, what if he's seen what's on there? I literally die of embarrassment. Well, exactly what's on this thing, huh? Well, whatever. I can't bear to see you moping around like this. We'll help you out, won't we, Evan? Mm. Yes, of course. We'll go and ask him in the labs, will you, man? Man, he got a whole bunch of nasty shit in there, I bet. Mm. Mm-hmm, things are just going bad from worse. Yes. Yeah, I heard that the civilization has been instructed not to leave town unless it's an emergency. Hey! Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> oh, hey, Bracken. Yeah. You heard about all the monsters outside the treehouse, right? Well, I'm trying to find ways to get rid of them, but the poor job it looks like it's gonna take me a while to figure this one out. Mm. Mm. Yeah, things have gone pretty crazy out there recently, huh? Listen, why don't you let us take care of those monsters, yeah? I'm not sure I don't like the idea of you guys putting yourself in danger. Oh, oh but it's our duty. Both our kingdom has signed the declarations of independence. That means it's our responsibility to help you. Fucking butcher that. Well, if you're sure, that would be amazing. Yeah. I mean, we're super strict stretch right now. Most of our drones has been trashed, and we, if we go out to fight, the monster will be leaving the treehouse unprotected. Thanks, Bracken. We need someone to take the lead on this. Just don't do anything stupid, all right? <laughs> oh, you don't need to worry about me, babe. I know what I'm doing. All right, we got more quests done. Hang on. We was trying to gather the rest of the people. And we kind of ricochet somewhere else. I mean, we work hard to get these people. You know damn well we gotta go get them. Is there anybody over there on the other side before I leave? It doesn't appear so. Okay. Where would you like me to go? Uptown, maybe? Kind of forgot where he was at. It's been a minute. It's all three of y'all again. Hi. Oh, Evan, sure I remember you now. You were ever so kind to me. Thanks so much. I've been busy, super busy. In fact, I'm working on the code for the next gen system. We deliver them and we just get into a crunch. Pretty much the only time I get to distress these days is at my motor art class. I've been doing some fencing these past yeah. weeks. That sounds fun. Oh my star, it is. I'm getting kind of good at it too. All the guys at the dojo keep telling me how much I'm improving. That's wonderful. Oh, that gives me an idea. We could use some people with skills like that in our kingdom where you like to come and live there. Mm. Sorry, no oh. can do. Oh, are you sure? I can't convince you. It's just not the right time for me. Things are going super well career-wise right now. I need to stay on my toes, you know, mix it up with the best in the business a little while longer. Listen, how about this? I'll give you my turns, and if you can meet them, I'll maybe think about joining you. Of course, and what is your turn? Nothing too taxing for for thinking model rule just show me that you're an equal opportunity employer by recruiting at least three women to your army do that and i might be willing to consider right. your offer well that seems simple enough to do let me see what i can do that should be done already there's no way hey hey evan who is your friend well, you, you said you consider coming to my kingdom if I can recruit some female fighters from my army. So I thought I'd bring one to, along to meet you. Is this enough to convince you that I'm an equal opportunity employee? Oh, it sure is. I'm very impressed. Seems your kingdom is the perfect place for an ambitious woman looking to get ahead. Yeah. Which means I need to be there. I'll be more than happy to join you if you're still hiring. I can't wait to stand along my inside my sisters and show everybody who runs the world. Alrighty. I'm gonna try to collect all of you, aren't I? Oh, very well. And you too? 
Oh man, this is like super not cool. What am I supposed to do? Um, um is there anything I can do to help? Whoa, who are you? Like my guardian angels? Like, hey, wait, there's something special about you, man. You got real groovy aura. And the way, yeah, there was something you can help to help. I'm looking for a screw, a certain very special screw. A screw? Have you left it somewhere? Nah, not exactly. I kind of drop it. It's probably rolled all the way downtown by now. Mm. Flipping heck, man. How many floors are you starting with? Are you doing dropping stuff people could go tipping on and breaking their necks, eh? Hey, don't you have a cow, man. I didn't do it on purpose anyway. What? What is done is done. There's no point crying over spilled milk, right? So will you go get it for me? You will, right? I don't have the time to be scouting. I mean, scouting every inch of the floor to find it, though. Mm -hmm. How hard can it be? Of course we'll help you. We'll go have a look around and see what we can find. <laughs> He, I knew it, man. I knew, I knew as soon as I saw you that you were the kind of guy that who will help a guy out. Damn, Terrence, right at the bottom of the tower. I'll see you. I'll start searching there if I were you. Hi, y'all two. Hey there, King Evan. Um, King Evan of the Heartland, so you, you know a lot about magic, yeah? Well, a little bit, yes, I suppose. <laughs> I was hoping you say that. There's this spell I want you to cast on me, see? Oh, uh, you want to cast a spell on me? Yeah, but call a spell called Rejuvenate. You get where I'm going with this, right? Call it kind of anti-aging experiment. Yeah. Anti-aging? I'm not sure I follow. Yeah. Lots of people are obsessed with looking young and healthy, right? So some people watch what... Well, what they eat, other put stuff on their skin. I'm just curious to see if you can achieve the same effect using magic is all. I mean, it's a huge market. If it works, I'll be rich. Okay, how about I swing a deal? In exchange of you helping me, I'll, I'll move to your kingdom and continue my research there. And not just into this stuff, but all kind of other magical miracles too. Alright, I'm not sure if this will work, but we might as well give it a try. Learn the rejuvenation spell. I do not have that. Yeah. Hey. Oh, hey, King Evan. How's it going? I got to tell you, things are going pretty great with me by now. My laser sign was a huge hit at you. Who would have thought there would be such a big market for weapons that looks like a fashion accessory? Thanks again for bringing me that share. By the way, that was super nice of you. So do you want to talk to me about something you kind of look sure. like you do? You want me to come to your kingdom, huh? I thought you never asked. What do I sign? Big cheesecake, nice. Looks really good, actually. I mean, you have weapons from all over the world, there, right? I got to be some See kind of paradise. Guess I'll be seeing you there. Catch you later. Woo! I'm going home over here collecting people left and right, man. Where is Drew at? He was supposed to be up here. No, he's not up here. Is there anyone over there before I go over there? Yes, there is. Let's go. Hello. Say. Listen, kid. If this isn't work related, keep it short, okay? So you want me to move to your kingdom, huh? Well, I guess it's kind of an honor being invited by the king. All right, I mean, it's a yes for me. Let me know when you need somebody to lend a hand on the battlefield. Yes, guess little Missy here'll be seeing some action soon too, huh? Nice. Your gunsmith. Well, gunner. Oh, oh shit, sorry, Missy, what's I called my gun? Guess you're not a weapon name, huh? Well, uh, take all the uh, shorts, kiss. Actually, that's not true. If I have a double gun, I call one death. And the other... Ah... Uh, justice, I guess. I don't know. Thanks. Hey, thanks for helping me out back there. You know all the scary stuff that happened to me. Realize I need to bulk up. That's why I've been here in the gym every day and watching what I eat. I got to say, I'm really getting into weights and being stronger is kind of useful for the day job too. But enough about me. Was there something you wanted to talk about, kid? I got a lift, uh, lifting season soon coming up. So keep it short, sure. okay? You want me to come to your kingdom? Well, sure. I got no problem with that. Oh my god, all the meats he gave me. Jesus. 
he, you look just kind. You look kind of shocked. I guess most people don't say yes right away, huh? Well, I'll be honest with you. You got your time just right. My contract at the gym just about to expire. Now I got this buff new body. It's only right that I can use it to help somebody out. Let me know whenever you head into battle, okay, kid? Hand me this shield, and I'll keep you safe. That's a promise. Awesome. Let me get this. Hello. Why are you in the corner over here? Hey there. Hey there. Perfect timing. Wait, you are here to take part in the trial, right? The trial. What kind of trial might that be? A crucial trial. A clinical, a clinical trial, of course. With a dietary one, to be precise. I'm a nutritionist, you see. It's my job to make sure everybody at board leaves is eating as healthy as possible. Oh. oh, I see. That's right, and I'm working on something really special right now. A complete ultra-nutritious meal that fits right in your pocket. I call it a little bitty bit. It's going to be a game changer, man. It's crammed with every nutrition going and eating you. It just gives you a boost of energy like nothing else, man. It's good for the body and for the soul, I like to say. For the soul. Golly, that really does sound quite impressive. And how much <laughs> that does it taste? Hmm, well, we, don't, we won't know that until we begin the trial. What do you say? Want to be the first test subject? The first, oh, I'm, I'm kind of full of red energy already. I don't need any more, honestly. I'm sure you can find someone better to try on. Hmm, guess you're right. We won't see any re really convincing results unless people are super run down. All right, how about we put this energy of yours to good use then? I've been thinking we could give this stuff a little bit more of a kick if we have some death, bread, garlic, fire, both sides to what? do it. Five balls? Are you crazy? Won't that be a little bit overpowering? It's only one way to find out unless you change your mind about trying some right now. Oh no, I am. Um, I'll see what I can do. We don't have death breath garlic. Ooh, but that looks quite painful and spicy. Well, garlic no normally has, you know, a spicy taste to it, so. That being said. Bring me down, down, down. Alrighty, there we are. Wait, wasn't we already here? Is it Midtown then? Bring me to Midtown. That should be the one. Is there anybody over here before I go? That's an item. I'll take that. It's a piece of cheese. Can't go wrong with that. You? Hello. Beep man da bullying. Y'all look pretty beeping quick on your beeping feet. You do fancy making them delivery or two? <laughs> Flipping heck man, there's a shopper. Hello, like you old man. What a turn on pace. Beautiful, easy. Don't take the me, Mick, man. I was programmed this way, eh? Some folks find me a bit beeping rude, but I can't beeping help it. Hee hee hee. I didn't know robots could laugh. While we beeping well can, now I can't and got time to stand around beeping. I got more important things to be worried about. See, I got a yoga great pile of season steaks to deliver by y'all. And a beeping light speed system only goes and beeping crash on me again. See, I suppose we can't be all pigeons on machinery. Vulture A's. Ha, 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 ha. Oh man, that's freaking funny. I just listen to it. Anyway, like I say, I'll be here all day. The beeping system's down, so I need your help delivering these bleeping steaks. You need to be quick, mind you. They don't sit there for too long. Alright, all right, we'll do our best. Beeping brilliant, that's what I like to hear. Right, you got three deliveries in three minutes to do them. Any longer than that, then these steaks by yours won't be any good for the beef or nothing. And I can go around advertising season and steak if they turn off cold and tough as an old blooping boot now, can I? If you're three minutes from now, come back here and I'll cook you up another batch. Just don't waste too many. <laughs> Not that I'm expecting miracles, it's your first time, so get in there. 
the main thing. Right, I'll look like you all said, just say the word and I'll hand over the thing. You're an eager one, huh? Ready to go out? Yes. Alright, listen up. Your first customer is a young bloke who's a bit too full. He should be up by the big tree on the path directly above here. Next one's an older lady, not that old mine, and a proper cheaper one at that. Reckon you'll find her at the one of the tables in front of Redwood Retreat. Last in but not least, Fussy Souls of a Lad hangs out right up the highest pink point in all the floor leaf. So three deliveries in three minutes to finish them. Got it? Right, let the show begin. Blast off. Oh! Woo! Yeah. Man, my steak's here. Man, you won't believe how long I've been waiting for this. Seriously, I've been drooling so hard. These things are insane. Thanks for bringing it to me, kid. Now, if you excuse me, it's time to shout down. I got this, man. I got this. <laughs> Come on, Evan! Push it to the max! Bring me uptown. Uptown funk you up. Uptown funk you up. Go, go, go. There you go. Bye. Oh, what's she to my fussy kid who are your steak? Well, yeah, I guess I am. So what if you give me this? I'll give me my exact send. I'll be sending it right back down. Let's see. Oh, this is just perfect. It's sizzling hot. This is going to be delicious. I know it. Thanks. There's nothing like a juicy steak. Bye. Hi, bye. Go, run. Bring me downtown. I don't know if it's up here. No, it's not. Wait, open the map. It's below. I think we did it quite in good speed. Oh, it's here. My, my steak is here at last. Honestly, it wouldn't be extravagant to say these steaks are what they are live for. And the taste is just to die for. Thank you, young man. You have no idea how happy you made me. Good luck with the rest of your deliveries. Bye. Tiny man, I saw the deliveries. Tiny man, and you saw the time limit, too. Pew, I really didn't think we managed it, but I must say. Ron, manage it? You did, my love. Those were some proper satisfied customers and all. Let's head back and see our world spoken robot, shall we? All right. That gave me a heart attack, honestly. Trying to do it super fast? Oh, yeah. Bring me to Midtown. I thank you. Looks like you delivered the freaking goods. Ah, yeah. Mm. We did indeed. Seasoning hot steaks for everyone. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. That's the beeping spirit, man. I knew I picked the right lot for the job. Right, so I better give you something for all your hard work, ain't it? Let's have it. Too right, man. You come on, honey. Oh, what is it, by the way? He <laughs> he. It's only a sample of my beeping specialties. That's exclusive beeping steak. Executive steak. That's right, man. It's pretty much the tastiest thing in the whole beeping world. But don't take my word for it. President Victor beeping loved this thing. 
I, I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh wait. It was, oh, thank you. That's really kind of you. Beep, beep. Least I can do, man. Least I can do. Right, so pop by again, ain't it? No more deliveries next time. Nah, you're getting a slap of meat on the house. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Thank you. I'm the beeping bear sound I right? Ta-ta for now. Nice. Oh, hey there, King Evan, man. You know, I've been watching you running around helping people all over the place, man. And I've been getting worried about you burning out. Are you making sure to even... Oh, you don't need to worry about me. Things have been very busy, but everyone's been kind enough to make sure I've been eating properly. Well, that's good to hear, man. Nobody here in Borley's wants our nutritious savior to be so rushed off his feet. He can't eat a balanced diet, man. Oh, while you here, there's something I wanted to ask you. Have you heard of the buyer we have around you? She kind of a legend. Um, no, I don't think so. Really? Well, her name is Morgan, and she can spot a hot new tread from the hires of Ray. As soon as the Akunu product get on the model, she's there to snap it up, man. Anyway, there's a rumor going around that she pick up some super rare items, stuff like nobody can ever sell him for sell. And so I just thought you might be interested in something like that. <gasps> Super uh, I don't mind us intriguing and reckon we better go have a word with this lady, eh? Alright. Yes, and if she has talent and some friends say here, perhaps we can convince her to come to have more. Ah, uh, pick your instantly as well if you want to talk to her. She should be over at the self-defense place. Seems she has some business to attend to. Right on, man, self-destruct, I mean, self, uh, self-defense, here we go, man. Alrighty, anyone else over here before I leave out of here? She's that way, so I'm gonna go upstairs and see what's up here. It looks like I made white shorts. Oh, there you are! <sighs> well, well, well. You sure know how to keep a guy waiting, don't you? It's a good thing I ate my slice of mom's meat pie while it was still warm, because it'll be cold by ice now. I'll be waiting. Anyway, hey. Let's cut to a chase. Yeah, the taskmaster tell me you tried to get me to put into a transfer to your tr kingdom. He's only said you've been going around the treehouse helping out folks who was in trouble. Sounds to me like we share a passion for a public service. And after what you did for me back then, with that monster, there's no way I'm about to turn you down. You probably guessed that my specialty is in law enforcement, but I know how to handle myself on the battlefield too. Feel free to deploy me on man maneuvers or two. <laughs> Not that I'm about to buck to chains of commands and tell you what to do, of course. Looking forward to serving under you, sir. Alrighty. Welcome aboard. One request, though, if I may. You might heard a thing or two about me being a head, a hard-headed who'll do anything to crack a case. Well, no? you never heard any such thing, huh? Huh? Well, forget I say anything. Guess I'll be moving back. I mean, moving out. I'll, I'll be back at the base awaiting orders, sir. Somebody's here as well. Oh, bonjour to you, Monsieur Levin. Hey, been keeping an eye on all your uh, thingies. Not to say I'm quite impressed, yes. Every time I was about the old threads and never poorly if your name comes up. Oh, last year is nothing more clean than a king who knows all the how to help the people out there. And you manage to look so cool when you're doing it. You got even the world on all of new fashion ideas. But Monsieur the King Evan, listen to me. Yes, listen, I have a favor to ask you. I would like to become a subject of your new kingdom. Just imagine me proliferating. You will indulge the finest of my most fashionable roles of all kingdoms, yes? Alrighty, welcome aboard. Oh, allow me to live there with you, Monsieur Levin, and your kingdom will be fashionably excellent. So is this idea, oi, families, near the machine, machine, we love, this opportunity, in our body. I have no idea. <laughs> Bro, with me, I have no idea. Alright, so we have to go over here to look for this Morgan person. Wait, she's here. Excuse 
Monsieur the Rue told that Morgan often visits his shop. Bebe, sorry, Bob, but I haven't seen her for a while. She's probably off in some distant kingdom buying up rare materials. I see. Do you have any idea which kingdom, perhaps? Well, she did say something about needing to go with a hall, but maybe that's what she is. Couldn't say for certain. All right, thanks. Hey, don't run off just yet. Why don't you check out what we have for sale first? I can stock up, up with some pretty cool stuff before she's disappeared. Let me see. Let me see what you got here. I gotta see what you got here first. You say you have good stuff, but I don't see you have good stuff. A town with a uh, thingy. Well, we know where that is. It's either Hydropolis or the other town that we got the boat. Okay, we got to learn rejuvenation. We can't do that. Harbor and the cave, garlic. Look for a screw in the entrance hall. Let's go do that one. I assume it has to be downtown if it's the entrance hall. Not up here. Probably over here. Somewhere around here. We was over here too and we didn't even check. It's quality clothes. It must be that one right there. No, it's that right there. Let's get this though. Special screw! Hey, what's the big idea? That's my screw. I was looking for it. Oh. Well, yes, I suppose you were. Sure I was. I've been looking for it all day, man. My eyes have been glued to every single second. <laughs> ah, all right. Yep. You know what that means, right? It means it's mine. I saw it first. No, exactly. Actually, it belongs to an engineer who accidentally... Whatever, I'm not listening. I already told you the screw's mine. So don't even think about trying to take it. But... but... Oh. Whoa. Don't come any closer. One more step, and I'm swallowing this thing whole. Then you really will never see it again. Flip it, Mac man. He gone screw crazy. We ain't getting our hands on that thing anytime soon. By the look of it, mm. what if we offer him something in exchange? What exactly do you think he'll accept in exchange for it? The man, he's a freaking broken about that thing. Huh? A trade. Hmm. Interesting. Sure, I'll make a trade with you. Really, man? Give me strength, man, not to yes. beat your ass? I'll try to dispute for an even more excellent one. If you can find something that really gets my heart racing, you got yourself a deal. Gosh. Carly, I'm alright. Come on, Luffy. Let's find another screw to give him before he swallows that one. <laughs> oh, man, I knew we wouldn't say it. Well, we'll never say we'll help that clumsy bloke upstairs. Talk about flipping fat, man. Alright, come on then, man. Only well, thing you're gonna get is give me a better one in return. You got that? <sighs> he likes screws. I can't give him anything. I don't have no freaking screw for you, asshole. <laughs> Will you be listening? I'm only interested in screw. I won't trade for anything else. Gosh. Oh, she really are determined about this, aren't you? All right, let's see what we can find. Yeah. Yo, Levin, what about trying that looks like a screw? A bit of a screw, at least. You never know what tr trickery this weird or fancy, any? Okay, well, I don't have anything that looks like a screw. Huh. Let me see here.
Yeah, I have not. Oh, whoa, this one. Hmm. Oh, wait, let's see what you brought me. It's um, it's a screw, just just a rather unusual one. This is a screw, but there's no screwy piece. Wow. Still, it's pretty cool. I like how it's chunky and heavy. In fact, I love it. I love it better than any other screw I ever saw. Even this one. Who would have thought it? Huh. Here, it's all yours. I don't even need it anymore. Really? Oh, that's wonderful. Bye. What a weirdo, man. He doesn't even know. Okay. Let's get out of here. I appreciate you help, my boy. Because he helped me out with that one. I was like, what the hell he want me to do? Is there any other side missions below here before I go upstairs? Doesn't seem so. Y'all, we got your special screw back. Whoa! You're back. What a relief, man. I was super worried about you. Nothing bad happened to you down there, did it? And well, we did come across a quite unusual young man, but I wouldn't say anything bad happened, actually. Huh? Um, I'm talking to my screw here, okay? <laughs> oh, of course. I'm so glad you're back. I miss you so much. I'm never dropping you again, promise! You know how much I love you and all your brothers and sisters who's don't you? That's right, more than anything else in the whole world. Mm, but I'm not telling about the beloved screw was taking horse, is eh? Yeah. Let's just leave and not worry about that guy ever again, yeah? I honestly think that's the best bet on dealing with it. Let's see what we gotta do next. Alright, let's say we gotta do this one right here. He's in the lab somewhere. Oh, he's up here too? Okay, this works. This works out wonderful for us, actually. We don't have to go that far. Please don't tell me I have to do that fucking switch again. I do. Okay. How annoying. How absolutely annoying. This place is freaking frustrating coming here non-stop, man. There we are. At least we got some loot. And we got a steel lead nugget, which is not that bad. Too bad we can't trap door up here. Could you imagine if we could? That would be so excellent, man. We'll trap door out of here. So we could go back up.
Oh, it's through the other way, okay. I need to put this over there. Oh, she had not mean to do that. Have I told you how much I hate this place? Honestly? Hi, right, there we go. Now we should be closer to it. If they could never send me down here again, that'll be great. Because it's so freaking frustrating changing those things all the time. Oh, hey, we long time no see, say. Trey didn't happen to leave one of his mind live lying around, did he? Oh, um, uh, uh, maybe one of them made a head of something uh, other than research data on it. Mm. That sounds like the one. You might let us have it. We promise to take it back to him, you see? Uh, uh, no kid, do so. I don't have it anymore. What the? What? Why? Well, um, the truth is I wanted to show my buddy what was on it. There seems to be a lot with memory. There seems to happen a lot with memory. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Ted say he still ever, you know Ted, right? He's always hanging around the reactor control room. Ted sure look out look for him then. That's sure. <laughs> I got the same man, that fool is something else. I'm a big fan. They'll tell you I'll buy it from him for real. Mm, I don't think Jay will like that somehow, alright. I mean, let's head to the reactor control room, yeah? Yeah. So we have to go back to the first floor. Is there a way to teleport? To the first floor. Thanks. All right, let's see here. Hey. Hey, Dad, will you give me a mount of look at? <laughs> you enjoy there, man. Excuse me. Well, you might not believe we brought it back to him. He was ever so upset about losing it. Hey. Man, do what you want on that thing. I never see anything like that. I don't think a video could ever make me that happy. <sighs> mm, sound interesting. What can we have in the world? Nope, but sold it. What? What? Why would you do that? <laughs> man, I spent all my money on tech stuff, man. I didn't have much. I didn't have enough left to eat. I have to get some cash from somewhere, and I knew the model will fetch a decent price, so. And you were looking to make a quick, easy sale, huh? So I'm guessing you need to properly produce right now, right? Yeah. How do you even know that, man? You're small bragging. No wonder Ziv like you so much. Oh, you making me blush. Oh, I should punch you in the face for sending somebody else thing. Let's get over that shop for someone else buy it. Yeah, let's feel, I feel awfully awful for him. If any more people got to see whatever is on that. Too bad he didn't got a punch. I will have a laugh. We accepted it too. Mm -hmm. Alright, we heal. Hey. BB Kaido, how may I help you? A hundred thousand, you gotta be fucking. 
I'm gonna buy 10 of each of these, just in case. Not those ones, though. I mean, no, it's fine, too. Maybe healing, though. Because, you know, that's good. Baby, is there anything else I can get you? Alright, bye. Well, on the bright side is, at least we got it now. So, yeah. That's a win. Lost a lot of money, though. I can't focus on my work out, no one my model if is out there. No way! Mm -mm. Is that you found my model lift? Oh man, I didn't know how to take you. Alright, before I do anything else, I need to wipe all the data out of this thing. Yeah, bye day. Are you gonna tell me what's on and we didn't look? We were we were sure what tempted though. Mm. Well, uh, alright, you did go and get it for me, I guess. Just don't go tell anybody, okay? Yeah. I have some recording on these, re recording of me singing, singing, um, show tunes. Show tunes? Yeah, and I um, was kind of really going for it, too. <laughs> hey, now, I remember you did a few in the office part of that time, right? Well, I had to tell you this, but Willie and Ted has been both been watching it. Uh. Those two old men, did everybody in the company is going to find out for sure. Hey, listen, I need to get out of board leave. Will you let me come in your kingdom? Yes! Of course! I have to tell you, though, the people who saw your videos were very impressed. I don't think they'll be mean to you at all about it. But having said that, we did share our crew 10 grand to get this thing back. He does kind of owe us. No way! What? How much? Oh, uh, don't swear. Just come to King Javin Kingdom with us. You'll soon pay off what you owe. Uh, um, but guess, uh, guess I'm not sure how I can face anybody here anymore anyway. Guess I'm coming to stay with you, Evan. Mm. That's wonderful, Trey. I'm looking forward to working with you. Shay, yeah, they really did took a lot of money out of us. Lander and Bracker teamed up to make the grill. I took on my mission to Ding Dong Dale using some ideas I got from old spy folk flicks. I definitely don't recall mentioning pills that turn you into a frog. I was convinced I'll be stuck that way forever. Remember, this is the original smell stick, man. You don't know how many times Zip sent me back to the drawing board, but we got there in the end, man. Yep, he gave me the green light, and it had to be one of the best moments of my entire life. Brody, man, this take me back. I miss those days. That thing is huge. Was it really that huge? For me? For me, for its time, it was ahead of the curve, man. Alrighty. We do not have any more time left, unfortunately. So for now, we're going to have to end it here. I do hope you all enjoy as much as I did. Next time, we're going to go to our home, get everything there is. Let's see what happens next. As for now, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope each and every one of you have a lovely night or day, depending on where you are. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you all next time. Peace.